Hi guys, welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus video tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila and today I'll show you an awesome Photoshop plugin that will greatly speed up your workflow. It's called CSS Hat and it turns Photoshop layers into valid CSS3 code. You can get the plugin at cssshat.com. It costs 30 bucks and it's compatible with macOS and Windows. And if you're using an older version of Photoshop, don't worry, the plugin is compatible with CS4, 5, and 6. Installing the plugin is really easy. After you download it, simply open the DMG file and double click the CSS hat icon. It's going to ask you if uh, you want to open it. Go ahead and finally click on Install CSS Hat. Now, since this is a plugin, you must close Photoshop to complete the installation. I want to make a quick note here. If you're using macOS version 10.8, which is Mountain Lion, you might need to change some settings regarding which applications can be installed. And to do that, you need to go to System Preferences, go to security and privacy and in the first tab under allow applications downloaded from you must select anywhere once you've done this and the plugin is installed of course mine is uh, already installed so I'm not gonna go through the same steps uh, go ahead and open Photoshop and you'll be able to find the plugin under window extensions CSS hat Okay, and it's going to place it right here. And now that we've installed it, let's see what we can do with it. Take this simple button, for example. To render it on a web page, we must first write uh, CSS for round corners, then for the background color. And also, we must include styles for the text color, size, and family. Now, this sounds very simple in theory, but once you consider the vendor prefixes for the border radius property, along with all the other properties, you will probably spend a few minutes styling this button. And it's a very simple one. Well, here's where a CSS hat shines. You can select the button base layer, which is this. And by clicking the CSS hat icon, you can see that you have all the CSS properties written down for you. All you got to do is copy and paste them in your CSS file. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click the copy button and we're going to jump to Coda where I have just a, like a demo set up, uh, two divs with a class of button one and button two. And additionally, they have a class of demo, which uh, just contains a margin right, text alignment, and some padding. So right here, let's do button one and paste this style. Let's check it out, refresh. And as you can see, our button is beginning to take shape. Let's select the text inside the button and copy its style. So this right here, copy, and as you can see, the plugin recognized the font family, color, size, and also style. So let's check out the final product, refresh, and there it is. With just two copy paste from Photoshop, we now have an exact copy of the button in our web document. Of course, you need to add certain properties by hand, just like I did in the demo. I added the text alignment here and also the padding. Even so, this is much, much faster than the traditional method of writing CSS. Now let's go back to Photoshop and take a closer look at the plugin window because there are a few options I would like to walk you through. Starting from the top, 
we can see that CSS Hat offers support for pre-processors, less SAS and stylus. So we can generate CSS in its default raw state or in any of these other formats. Even more, if you're a less user, there is also a, a mixing library called Less Hat, uh, which you can get at lesshat.com. Moving on, uh, we see a couple of buttons down here. The first one copies the CSS to clipboard. Then we have the option to add comments to our CSS. So if we click it, it adds the text color comment. If we select the other layer, it's going to add comments for border radius, uh, the background clip, and also the background color. The mouse button will toggle the vendor prefixes, and this is probably the most time-consuming part of the whole styling process. Writing all of those properties for Mozilla, uh, WebKit, or Opera can be really difficult sometimes, especially if you don't know the syntax by heart. So this plugin makes it really easy for you. In this case, it added vendor prefixes for border radius and for the background clip. The next button will add the width and the height of the selected layer. So click it and it added width and height. Finally, you can wrap the CSS in a rule named after the selected layer. So my layer is button one click this last button and it's going to wrap all of these styles in a class with the name of button one. And this is very cool because you can plan your CSS even from the design stage by properly naming your layers. Now CSS hat can also tackle more complicated stuff like gradients and shadows. So let's take a look at our second button here. And as you can see, it has a gradient, uh, round corners, a simple border, and also a secondary border, which is very subtle. Uh, the secondary border is added via an outer glow effect, which CSS Hat supports. Also, the text inside has a drop shadow. So let's see just how fast it would be to create a CSS button out of this. So let's select the button base layer and we're going to copy all of its CSS from right here. Apart from the width and height, we don't really need that in our case. So just deactivate that. Also, um, take a look at the vendor prefixes for the gradient. It added, of course, the Moz, the Opera linear gradient but also it gave us an SVG for it. So that's great for browsers who support it. So go ahead and copy this and let's go back to Coda. We're gonna paste it right here as button two. Okay, let's check it out, refresh. And as you can see, the gradient is there, round corners, inner border and outer border. So that was really easy. Let's see about the text. Select the text. Okay, select the styles. Actually, I'm just going to copy this and paste it inside. Just like that. Refresh. And that's it really fast. How long do you think it would have taken you to write all of those properties by hand? Well, I'd say a lot of time. That CSS hat in a nutshell, and let me tell you something else. Apart from the obvious convenience and speed improvement, there's also an educational merit to this plugin. You can learn, you can actively learn CSS when using it. You can see how different layer styles translate into CSS, and that's just awesome. So you have a tool that makes your life easier and teaches you CSS at the same time. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please add a comment below the video. I'm Adi Purdila. See you next time. Bye-bye.